Hey everyone, Tim Weinzanfel here for Enterprise DNA. And in this segment, I wanna show you how you can take an ordinary table and really transform it into um, something that's extraordinary. So let me show you what I mean. So here I've got an ordinary uh, table with some sample data I just pulled off the web. And this is showing some sales data across four territories, uh, the Asian Pacific, uh, Eastern and the Europe and Middle Eastern, uh, Japan and North America. So I, I'm just really showing here that what you would see sort of in a standard table, you know, I'm showing some uh, total sales, average sales and so on. I've even included the uh, Sparkline uh, feature that, that is now available in tables. But what I want to do is actually transform this into something that is uh, much better. So let me move over to that. So, so here is a new format that I did, and a couple of things you're going to notice right off the bat. First of all, it's formatted uh, a lot cleaner. I've simplified the, you know, the sales figures, and I've also added these grid lines or expanded these grid lines in the table to m separate the data uh, to be a lot cleaner, easier to read. So that's the, the, the first thing. But the next thing which I really want to uh, talk about in this segment is three different things that I've applied to this that just add additional functionality to this table. So first thing I want to do is let me show you the sales. So in the you see the total sales where I've got uh, each row and next to each sales I've got this icon. So if I go ahead and click on one it's going to filter my visual below to the region that I have selected. So there I've done it to the Asia Pacific region. I can go over here to say Japan and so on and it's filtering. So I'll do the Europe and Middle East. And uh, I've done that. So I've added this button. So that's the first thing. Let's go over to the other, to the uh, end here with this spark line. Now I like these spark lines, but the problem I have with them is they don't really, they, it's a quick visual, but I wanna see the, uh, the specific data. So what I've added now, if I hover over, is a tool tip that will now give me the, uh, the information that I want. So I've got the, the time frame at the bottom, I see the total sales figure at the top, so now I can actually drill in, and as if I, if I roll up, I can actually see the tooltip specific to each region. Now, the last thing I added to this table is I'll go over here to total sales. And what you'll notice is that the first and the third rows have these, um, I, these exclamation points that are showing versus the second and fourth row don't. What I did here is I wanted to add sort of, sort of a warning if, in my case, um, I wanted to show that this exclamation point if the sales was below a certain figure. So I used a thousand. So I'll show you how I did this in a second. But what I wanted to show is that if the sales was below a certain figure, the exclamation point showed. Uh, and if it was above the, a certain figure, it didn't. Now that's all great, but it look, watch this. If I hover, if I put my mouse over uh, this, I've got a tool tip that will display. So let's say I want to provide uh, more information I can simply hover over this one. And if I, you'll see if I go over the ones, a row where it doesn't have this, nothing happens. No tooltip uh, appears. And if I go above this next one, it does appear. So the, the point of this is being able to show how you can take this standard table, but add in, uh, uh, you know, buttons to filter or tooltips and, and different tooltips based on what you want. So. How did I do this? Well, let's jump over to the desktop and I will show you here. Okay, so here we are in the desktop and I'm gonna walk through uh, how I did this, created this table. First thing is I'm going to quickly just show the grid line. So with a table, what you can do is if you go ahead and open up your, uh, I'm on my, I'm got my table highlighted and if I go in here, uh, there is an option for grid and you can go and choose, you can actually expand the size of the grid. So you've got a horizontal grid, you've got a vertical grid, and then you have, uh, down here you've got the border as well, and I have the bottom one. And all I did was, you can change the color, and then the uh, there's a width feature that allows you to change the width of, a, of the grid line. So in the, my case, I used eight. So this allows you to create this, this make these grids, the you know the, the the thicker or thinner as as you want so that's how I did the formatting. 
Okay, let's, I wanna jump into doing the, uh, the, the three approaches here. So let me start with total sales. And what I did here, so with these, uh, with these icons that you click on, all these are, and let me go ahead and show that, are, these are just simple buttons that I have overlaid the table. So I've got one for each region that I'm doing. And let me go ahead and just uh, pick on one. I'll, I'll go ahead and pick on this one for Japan. And it's just a, a simple button that I've added up here. And you can do a uh, invisible one. And in my case, I used a blank one and then I added the that icon, the informational icon as an image. There happens, just happens to be another one uh, that you can do. So, um, I just happen to use an icon that has the same one. So if I were to move a button and then you just move it, place it where you want it. And I've, so I've placed four of them. And then in order to get this filtering capability, all that simply is, is in my, in my visual here, I've simply added a filter and then a bookmark. So let me expand my uh, filter. I have four bookmarks. I have the, so let me go ahead and click on the one I created for Japan. And what I've done is I've taken this visual and I've just added a filter. I've got a territory here. I've just filtered it to uh, the territory that I wanted. So if I clicked on say the total sales by North America and I expand my filter, that filter is just through North America and I've created these, these four bookmarks. And then on my button, I just took each individual button the filter here and I formatted the button and I'm just using the bookmark action and then I selected the applicable filter that I wanted so you just do that for each button and then that will be how you can create that sort of filtering uh, effect with this connected visual so that's how I did that approach let me go over here to the sales over time and again this is the uh, visual where I have the tooltip uh, to do that. Now, first thing I did is I created a tooltip. Uh, I'm not going to do it here. There's there's uh, there are videos on how to do that. But I went ahead and created my tooltip, and this is tied to territory, which is the you know the the corresponding rows that I'm using here. But how do I get this to display? Uh, if you've worked with visuals before, you know that you know a table visual has a, the tooltip capability. But I need to have this separate because I'm actually having several tooltips, as you'll see. So what I did here is. Let me hide my bookmarks and I'll go to my selection pane. These are simply, if I show you, these are just individual cap individual cards. I'm using this, this simple card visual here. And you'll see I have one for each of the different regions. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll create one real quick for this one. Um, and it looks like I've, let me delete that. So, um, actually got several hill that I've, I've created in testing so let me delete them what you'll so what, what I did here is if I go up to my card let me go ahead and create it so there's no no card here right now I'm gonna just go ahead and take this uh, this card and I'll drag it over now with a card you got to add a measure and what I could have done was added that use the territory measure uh, and did it because I'm gonna show you how I, how I, I filter it but what I did was I created a blank measure and the blank measure is just what it is it's just a whole bunch of spaces and I, I have a lot of spaces here and i'll show why so I, I created this blank measure i move it over here and similar to the button i go into the filter panel for this card and i just simply add my territory that i want to filter and in this case it's the north america region so i'm going to filter the, to that and i go into my into my, my card, into the into the, my tooltip section, turn on my tooltips, choose my report page, and then I choose the applicable uh, tooltip, which in this case is called Sales Over Time, and there it is, filter to North America. Now, uh, one other thing you'll see is because I've put a card over, again, I'm over my table, it is, it's hiding my spark line, so all I need to do, and here's my card up here that I've created, I just simply need to go in here and turn the make sure the background is 100% transparent. Doesn't matter the color, and now it shows. Now, uh, why the blank measure and why the spaces? The reason I used the blank measure is if I would have used territory, which I could have done and then just filtered it. Let me go ahead and throw in the territory. What happens is it's going to display the text. So now I've got to mess with this. I've got to change the font size, maybe change the color because I do not want the text hiding. 
the blank measure hides all that and it gives the appearance that there's nothing. So that's the first, that's the reason why I use the blank measure. Why all the spaces? Well, what I want is if you were to hide, if you were to hover, say, over to the left side or the right side of the tooltip, by adding all those spaces, it sort of a, it gives that territory for the mouse to 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 uh, make the tooltip appear. And I'll show you in my next example where I actually use less spaces to prevent that. So that is how I did the sales over time. Let me jump over now to the to the uh, total sales and I use a similar approach but just a slight tweak because what I want is I only want the tooltip to appear when I have this warning so first thing I did was the uh, I have a measure here let's call this uh, total number I have this called total number of sales text this is the measure I'm using to display the number and what I have is a, a simple uh, if statement so if it is below my my, my value in this case a thousand display the uh, the extra spaces and the exclamation point and if it is not just show the warning so this is the measure I'm using to dis to, to what displays in the the, the actual table but uh, if, to get the tooltip now I've done a similar approach uh, as over here the sales over time I'm using invisible you know these these invisible cards so again I've got four cards that I've placed over each one, uh, similar over here. But the measure I'm using is, uh, I've got a, a second measure, which is si similar to the blank one, but I've added in this if statement. So let me show you this. In this measure, what I, what I wanna do is, if the condition is, again, less, I'm using the same condition, in this case, less than a thousand records, have the, va show a display, uh, yeah, I say that, uh, you know, with some quotes around it, with some blank values, right? So I want to add these these blank values. If not, have nothing. And I could have used the blank function here. And the, by having these spaces, what it does now is, for those that are less than a thousand for this card and in, in this measure, let me go ahead and click on this again. It's got this measure. It's gonna if it's if it has the less than a thousand, it's gonna have those spaces. So now when I hover over it. Uh, and I and I have this this tooltip this um, sorry this card again tied to I have my tooltips engaged here and I to the other report page it's going to sort of trick it to make it look like there's some value there and thus when you hover over the tooltip appears and when there's no value because my condition is is uh, is not met what happens is there's nothing which means there's no tooltip so it doesn't uh, it doesn't activate. And one last thing you'll notice with my measure, I don't use as many spaces as I used in my blank measure over here. And the reason being is I don't want the person to hover, say, over here, over here, and have the tooltip. I want to make it to where it appears that it is just that smaller space. So that's why I used less spaces. So a um, couple other real quick tricks that you want to do when you do this, because when you have tables, you want to make sure you're disabling the ability for them to sort columns because if I if you have that capability, it will mess all this up because those icons and cards are placed in specific orders. So easy thing to do over your matrix. I just I just put over it a blank. This is just a blank rectangle that has uh, got no background, and so it, it's transparent. And now I've completely disabled. Uh, you can't. I'm clicking on this on these columns. It doesn't work because what it's happening is now you're clicking on, on this blank rectangle. And the last thing I did, one little last trick, is if you look at any normal table or matrix, you'll have an icon up here that tells you which column is being sorted. I simply covered that up with a, another rectangle that is the same color as the background here in white in this case, and it hides that. So now there is no ability for the user to uh, reorder the, uh, the you know the columns and that'll make this so this will be this will stay um, so a couple of tricks here uh, one limitation you know you have to be aware of is if I added more regions or say one got deleted then this is gonna you'd have to re uh, address all this this works great when the when your rows are gonna stay constant so just something to be aware of but wanted to throw out and see if these are just some extra ch tips that that you could use. Um, would love to hear from you. Uh, if you like this, um, add a comment down below. 
and hopefully that you can uh, uh, use this in some of your tables. So, thanks everyone. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.